Yo, what's going on? This is a tutorial for the Pokemon TCG Card Shop Simulator mod for TCG Card Shop Simulator. Seems pretty complicated, so I'm making this tutorial to hopefully help anyone out. So we're going to scroll down here. Do not use the mod on a save file you care about. And we're going to have to install all these mods first. So we're just going to start with the first one. Pre-configured Bepinx with Configuration Manager. I'm actually going to open that in a new tab. Uh, we're going to go to Files and Manual Download. Slow Download. And I'm going to save that to my desktop. Back to the description, how to install. We're going to extract the archive to the game's root folder. Run the game once after installing. Head to your Steam. Right click the game. Properties. Installed Files. Browse, locate the file you just downloaded, mine's on my desktop, and we're going to take everything in there, drag it into TCG Card Shop Simulator, okay, and you can close that, keep your file open because we're going to need to put other stuff in there, it says run the game after installing it, so let's do that, okay, game has been run, so let's quit it. And we're going to head in over to more card expansions. I'm going to open that in a new tab. We're going to go to files, manual install, manual download. And you need Bepin for this, the one we just downloaded. Download that to my desktop. Okay, so if we open that file we just downloaded, we're going to see a file called Bepin X. And to know how to install Bepin X files, we head back to the Bepin X page and how to install mods. If the .zip contains a bepinx folder, put it in the game's root. Okay, so that's easy. Take the bepinx folder, open up your TCG Card Shop Simulator folder that you should still have open, and just drag it in there. All right, that took a while. And close the card expansion mod. Keep that folder open again, and we're going to move on to texture replacer. Open that. Let's, uh, let's download it first. Manual download. Download. Slow download. Unless you have fast. Save that to my desktop. Alright, I'm going to close this page. So if we open up Texture Replacer, we're going to see we have a file called Texture Replacer and we don't have a BepinX file this time. That means we go back to the BepinX page and we see that. If it's just a folder with the mod's name like we have, extract the folder with the mod's DLL to BepinX plugins. So open them both up. Go into text, or sorry, go into BepinX in your TCG Card Shop Simulator. Go into plugins. And now we're going to put texture replacer right there. Close that. And now we're on to our expander. Open a new tab. I'm going to close more card. Just keeping uh, BepinX open. So we're going to go to Files, Manual Download, Save to Desktop. You open Art Expander and you see Plugins. You can open Plugins. Put that Art Expander in the actual plugins in your TCG Card Shop Simulator file. And close that. You can close Art Expander. Now add entirely new cards. Files, Manual. Save to Desktop. I think you guys get the drill by now. So you open the new cards mod, you have a BepinX file. Open up your TCG Card Shop Simulator. Throw that BepinX into there. And we're done installing all the prerequisites. Now that we have all those, we can go to Files, Manual Download, Download, Slow Download, saving that to my desktop. This one is 1.5 gigs, so it's going to take a minute. Alright, that took forever, but once it's downloaded, open up that file, and you'll see BepinX and Card Shop Simulator data. Open up your TCG Card Shop Simulator file. Drag both of these files into there. 
We're going to replace the files in the destination. And once that finishes, you can close both of those files. Now if you scroll down on the Pokemon mod, you'll see that there's some settings that we need to change. So let's go ahead and open the game now. All right. We can see that the mod is working. And to change the BEP and X settings, we're going to hit F1. Open up TCG Expansion Mod 1.8.7. Enable this first one and leave everything else the same. Open up Texture Replacer. Make sure the first four are enabled. They should be by default. And make sure the only one enabled in this section is Show Full Image, which should be default. And make sure only Show Pixel Glow is enabled, which should be default. And then you're good to go. The mod should be working perfectly. This is taking a long time. Did the game freeze? Oh, we're good. All right, yep, looks like it's working perfectly. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If this helped you, leave a like, subscribe, drop a comment if you need help, and I'll try and help everyone in the comments. Um, but peace out, y'all.